can be a bit overwhelming being here because it's just like it's just so so much work and then all right it is the end of another day in the hard as you can see my mood is drastically improved um, you know The acrylic is finally in town. The company they sent it through didn't deliver it to here for some reason, so we've got to figure out how to get it from town to here because town's like 40 kilometers away. Typical thing to happen here. But in the meantime, I'm going to start removing some of these panels so we can get the old windows off to use as a template for the new ones. And key to this experiment is labeling everything <laughs> so we can put it all back together. Well, I ran out of battery yesterday, but as you can see, <laughs> we got it all down. So now the next step is taking down these parts, which are bolted in through the windows so that we can get to the bolts on the windows and then take the windows themselves off with the idea that we'll take them into the templates for the new acrylic. Busy, busy, busy. Let me try this approach. Maybe this is just the easy way to do it, take all of them out from here. All right, come on, bad boy, yay. Will and Lena, I think. All right, we got five down, two to go. Right spot. <laughs> wow, all the bolts are out of the uh, windows, so basically. Um, plan is on Monday to go get the old acrylic, have these windows off in the morning so we've got a bit less time for leaks to be able to occur uh, and hopefully we'll get all the acrylic cut. Um, yeah, I'll admit <laughs> the days after not being able to catch that dog this morning and then it like time feels like more precious at the moment I guess but then like now I feel like I spent three hours doing that and if I had just done it better the first time I would have been able to get the surgery done and then we won't have to go back tomorrow which means we could have put more time into the boat work. You may remember that the first day we tried to get Sultan did not go as planned and we had to give up and try again. It can be a bit overwhelming being here because it's just like it's just so so much work and then when I get back to the hotel I do orders and video editing and then try and visit all the dogs that are now on my patient list and it's I definitely don't really feel like I'm keeping up very well at the moment, but yeah. anyway. We are getting closer and closer and closer. It just still feels like every time we get a little closer to having it done, like Jim just found another hole in the hole potentially. We've just had the welding done and it's like, Jesus. Will we ever get back in the water? <laughs> anyway, I know we will. It's just, yeah. 
sometimes feels like a long way away. But anyway. Ugh. We did go out and fix up Sultan the next day, as you saw in our last episode. After getting bitten and doing surgery in the hot sun, we all felt we deserved a couple of days away from the boatyard before returning. How's my handsome boy? Huh? How's my handsome boy? Can you have a pet? Always a good boy. Always a good, good boy, huh? Hey, we missed it. He walked a little bit, hey? It's easy. Hello, my girl. I need to check your back end a bit better. Can I have a look at it? Yeah, I need to check back there. I need to see what's going on. Kiwi had what's known as a vaginal prolapse, a condition where the walls of the vagina protrude outside of the vulva. It can be really painful and it can get very inflamed and infected. I first tried simply putting it back in to see if that could work with some anti-inflammatories on board. Put a tablet in here. Read that. Good girl. Well, while I was out wrangling some doggies this morning and checking up on our patients, everybody else was already here on the boat working. Um, Lena's concentrating on some pitting again, and Will and Jim are trying to get the acrylic windows off. I also thought I'd let you guys know we didn't have to get a rabies injection. Um, funnily enough, I don't know that much about it, which is kind of bad, but I guess um, going to vet school in Australia, we learnt pretty minimal because it's not actually in Australia. But uh, basically, if you can observe the dog for 10 days, if they've not shown any signs of being rabid, which Sultan has not, um, and it was an unprovoked attack, which it was, we provoked him, he did not just come out as unprovoked. Um, yeah, in that case, essentially, it's quite safe to wait the 10 days and provided the dog has no symptoms after 10 days, you know they don't have rabies and therefore you don't need the injections. But we're gonna look at getting Jim vaccinated anyway, eventually. We'll see how they're going up here. Are you glad we used 5200 to stick them on with? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not coming off real easy. Oh no. Yeah, I was worried about that. It should only be the side ones. I think the other ones have, it, it hopefully are a lesser sealant, but we'll yeah, see. I'm glad the side ones are just bigger. Yeah, a bit easier <laughs> to. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's common. It's more like a mix of different sealants, like 5200 and uh, so silicon good. and this butyl tape stuff. But I thought butyl tape never leaked. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, here's the proof that it does. <laughs> um. Oh, that was quick. The sparks are kind of scary. I don't know if I love them. <laughs> After cutting through the stubborn screws, we continued the difficult and very slow process of levering, sawing, lifting, cutting, doing just about anything we could to get the acrylic off of chaffed. This one just came off super easy. I gave it one tap because it's only had sealant use, no um, adhesive, which is easier now, but not as good when, we, when you're actually wanting it to keep you safe. Looks good. All the windows are off. Chuffs looks very bright and breezy down there without them. All right, it is the end of another day in the hard. As you can see, my mood is drastically improved um, after getting Sultan surgery done and just making more progress. It's, yeah, it's definitely a roller coaster of emotions on board. And we've um, got Memo, the marina um, manager. He's got my acrylic windows in the car and he's gonna go pick up my new acrylic for me, take it to the guys who are gonna cut it and they'll use the um, windows as a template, so. Yeah, things are happening, but for now we are going to shower and rest because we are all incredibly tired, but you know, we just keep on keeping on. Mm, hello. Well, I've got to get my stuff out of the bag. You helping. You and Toby both helping. I'll use a good dogs. 
Toby, tengo un regalo para ti. What do you think of this? It's a Kong toy. Should we show your mommy? What do you think of it? It's fun. Oh, buddy. I know it's not much fun, huh? Well, I'm feeling very, very good about my patients. Um, Blanquito is definitely getting better. I was kind of feeling like he was in a bit of a, not a slump, but you know, where he wasn't quite improving for a few days there. Um, but he's walking around a lot more. As you saw, he's really not using one leg. But the good thing is he's now lying with that side up and down, which means he's in a lot less pain, using three legs much better. And hopefully eventually, Today he was actually putting the toe down on that fourth leg occasionally, so I'm hoping we're like, yeah, getting, getting somewhere with it. Now, one of the reasons I haven't taken him for x-rays is because I don't think it would change what we would be doing, because the reality is without a permanent house for him to live in, to do a surgery where we plate a leg or plate a bone is, one, it's very risky because there's lots of chances of infections, things like that. Two, the dogs need to be kept strictly confined for a minimum of six weeks, which for him, he's a free dog, he's not... I just don't know that it's actually the best thing for him, even though in a normal situation that would be the right thing to do. So for now we're conservatively managing. And we've got um, the little girl dog with the vaginal prolapse booked in for surgery in two days. I'm taking her to the vet clinic, I'll be doing the surgery, but they've let me kind of have a space there for the morning to do her. And then Toby got a gift, <laughs> he's fine. Toby has no problems, he just supervises all my vet work. So yeah, all in all feeling very good about them. And now we go see Salt Farm. Here comes the sausage man. We bought the sausages for the dogs. Hola, bebitos. They know where we're going. They know not to let you get too close. No. <laughs> <laughs> We've made our life more difficult when we eventually want to do the girls now. Well, Sultan and Pasquale aren't here. Which I guess is a good sign because it means that Sultan's up and about somewhere. But I would love to see him to make sure he's doing better. I guess we, um, I'm just gonna have a little look around the house just to make sure he's not like just resting behind it or something. Not here? No, I think he must be out and about, which I guess is good. Well, walk back into wonder, town, see if we see him over there. Yeah, I wonder why the other dogs didn't go for their walk into town. They must have been too hot. Some of them are gone, so. Um, alrighty. We'll head on out. And now Will just needs to put that up and down into that little hole over and over again another 20 times. Yeah, at least. <laughs> yeah. Another amazing boat workout brought to you by Will. Oh, we've come that far. You're getting there. <laughs> oh yeah, I can see the line you're doing. Yeah, it looks cool. All right. Uh, little by little. Oh, you're getting close. Just gotta get it centered first and then... Uh, um, get the rough shape of it yeah because this is just like uh, not equal so they're different oh and yeah i might just try to shape the uh, dagger board evenly so it's got a better water flow i think that's a good idea you're definitely getting closer though nice one yeah, this one's still a little bit off center so i gotta move it a little bit to the left mm -hmm. and then We'll see how it goes. Yeah, <laughs> I have faith. <laughs> All right, so slowly shaping it. Well, it's starting to look more and more like a fin, I reckon. Especially from this side, I think you can see it the most. How much longer do you think you got to go, uh, ages? Yeah. <laughs> I guess Three, it's a pretty... Four days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's getting there though. Slowly, but surely, like every other job. Yeah, I need to fill some holes in the mm. plywood as well. Yeah, yeah. 
I think at least two days. So I'm just gonna mark up until where I gonna send it. Yeah, then the whole thing will be soaked in epoxy and then eventually four layers of uh, file glass on this part and four to six layers on the box that supports the whole weight. Regresamos, Pascual. <laughs> es que es que Sultan ya está. Sultan is over there, even though you might not be able to see him. I bet he saw us and ran, the little bugger. Sultan. Sultan, venga. You said what? I just saw him do a wee, which is good. That was what I wanted to see as well. Make sure that he's urinating out of that area properly. His testicles are just a little swollen, which is an uncommon, um, well, they're not his testicles, but where they used to be because um, he's probably running around a lot. So there's probably just been a little bit of bleeding, but that'll go down over a few days. Whew, okay. I don't think he's gonna let us close. No, pienso, Sultan. Ya el tiene mucho Sí. Él tiene muchos que ayudar con nosotros. Sí, él tiene miedo ya. Pero todos, todos ellos fuiste que se metieron a mi casa. Que tienen como unos tres meses que no se meten. Pero apenas, apenas los oyeron. Se meten. No, no, no son prejuicios. No, mejor me meto. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support our efforts to keep our floating veterinary clinic sailing around and saving animals, check out the links below, or become a patron for as little as a dollar a month for live updates and so much more. Until next episode, I hope you're all staying very chuffed.